What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? This is Forever Branded TV. Guys, this is my end of the year video for 2013. Guys, it has been a blast starting my YouTube show, and I hope it will continue to grow over time. And I just would like to say I would like to thank everybody who gave me tips, pointers, detail, ideas. Uh, I would like to thank all the people who have told me to continue to be myself and to continue to keep doing videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's just been a lot of excitement and a lot of exciting news this year that I would like to, that I mean, that I have talked about a lot of music that I have talked about and I just would like to reminisce on some of the things that I have done um it was a lot of things I have done it was a lot of good I just like to talk about everything that I have accomplished as far as doing this show it has been a whole lot of fun and I want to continue to do it guys I want to continue to express myself. I want to continue to give my feedback on what I think about uh, things and uh, situations and what I feel, what I don't like, what I love, what I'm going crazy for, what I'm not too crazy about. Guys, I just want to continue, continue, continue. I don't know what's in store for 2014, but if there's anything I will want, I will want to be happy in 2014. I will want to live out my dreams. I will want to uh, do a lot of things. I would like to accomplish a lot. And I know that it, 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 it's, it's tough times going on right now, but guys, I'm, I'm going through it. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing through. I'm trying to be as strong as possible. And it's just like, I, I, I really appreciate the love that people have given me and who people have shown me, all the likes, all the, you know, hell, even all the dislikes, you know, to the haters who don't like me, you know what, I don't give a damn, this is my time, this is still my time, it's always gonna be my time, so I'm here, niggas, bitches, I'm here. So, this is my end of the year video. Now, let's reminisce. The very, very first video that I have done was the J. Cole review of his album, Born Center. Now, I would like to be honest, that video I was not too happy about. But it happened, it started out being one of my favorite videos because I, I was getting a lot of views at the time. And then suddenly, the views kind of stopped coming for a while. And so I had to kind of wait. So I was like, okay, okay. I thought that that video was going to eventually rise up to a thousand views. But honestly, it still hasn't reached its limit. But there's like four videos, uh, uh, three or four videos that have, have uh, gone up to a thousand views that I'm proud of. That has helped my show out a lot. Thank you to all the people who have been viewing and who have been who kept supporting. There's still a lot of views that I still want to get higher. I uh uh uh, uh and 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 the second video, the second video was what was the second video? The Kelly Clarkson? No, 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 no. The Kelly Rowland review. I think that video I was. Starting to get more in my comfort zone, you know, because the J. Cole video, I was a little nervous, and I was like, wait a minute, what the hell am I doing? Am I saying this right? Am I projecting myself right? And guys, I would like to be honest with you, that video took me hours, hours and hours and hours and hours. Y'all, that video took hours to get done. I was recording and recording and recording. I was like, you know what? I don't know if I should write this stuff on paper. So I wrote the stuff on paper the first time. And it just took me a long time to project myself because I was too busy about what people was going to think about me. I was too busy about the camera. I was too busy about if I was looking in the camera lenses. I was just busy. I was worried about a lot of things. And it just, it, y'all, it, 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 it was just a lot going on at that time. And I was so nervous, but guys, I finally pulled through. You can see in the videos where I got more of my comfort zone. I started talking shit. I started not giving a care what nobody thinks. I say, look, this is Forever Branding TV show. This is my 
ish. And I'm going to say what the hell I want to say. I don't care what you got to say about it. This is me. This is who the hell I'm going to be on my show. Okay. So I just started getting in my comfort zone, guys. And um, I would like to say probably like one of my favorite videos out of the whole thing. It's not the Beyonce video that I did, guys. That video was so extravagant at first. Now, I did it like the, the first video got deleted off because YouTube took the, the sound away from it. So I was so mortified. I said, you know what? I'm going I'm still gonna have to make this with you happen, even if the first first part of it did get deleted. So I just still gave a video. That wasn't my best review, but it was still a good review. My favorite, 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 favorite review is the Tamar Braxton review. Out of all the videos that I have done, because I think I was the most confident. I was most I, I just gave my all on that video. I it was it's other videos that I liked that I did, but the Tamar review is like the the the, the, the love and war review. That's the best review that I have done so far this this year. And I would like to say another review I was I was kind of crazy about was the Kelly Rowland review. The Kelly Rowland review, and and there was one more uh, video that I did that I was kind of crazy about. Um, I think it was the one I did about Tech Nine. That was the that was a review that I liked that I did. The one I did about Tech Nine and the Justin Timberlake review. Those are like my four best reviews, but the top review is the Tamar Braxton review. And then I just like that video because I was a little bit more edgier. I, I started I started getting in my comfort zone. I started coming out of my body more. I started saying, you know what, this is forever burning the TV. You can see on that video, if you look at it, that I was getting off a of stuffy shoulder because I was so worried about it in my other videos that people were going to watch my views. So I stopped giving them. I said, you know what? This is me. I don't care how many views I get. And guys, to be honest with you, the only reason why I started doing this video was because one of my best friends, and he know who he is, told me that just do you. So when I took that advice and I, and I kept, I just said, you know what? I'm going to take his advice. I'm going to take his advice, and I'm going to do me. So that's what I did. And the, the, the first five or seven videos was real shaky. But you know what? I, you can see why I got in my comfort zone more. And let me just talk about all the good things that I've talked about so, thus far. I've talked about Kelly Rowland's album. I've talked about J. Cole's album. I've talked about when Beyonce came to Chicago. I've talked about Kay Michelle. I've, talk, I've talked about um, Justin Timberlake. I've talked about Drake's album. I've talked about Tamar's uh, self-titled. No, 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 not self-titled. I talked about... <laughs> oh, I'm thinking about Beyonce. I talked about her Love and War album. I talked about her... Christmas album. I talked about a whole lot. I talked about um uh, man, it's just so much stuff. It's so much stuff I don't even remember I talked about because it's been such a while. It's been since June. Guys, I started this show since June. Ever since before I started working, I started the show and I was bored around the time I ain't had nothing to do. And I just said, you know what, I'm just gonna do this show for fun. I'm not in, in it for the competition. I'm not in it to, to prove I'm better than nobody. I honestly don't care. I'm just giving this I'm just doing this show because I want to have fun and it's something that I'm I, I, I'm into. I'm into being broadcast and I'm into the views. I'm into the, the, the intellectual side. And I you know what? It's just it's very it's, it, 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 it's, it's a very, 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 very exciting experience that I have gone through this year. I want to continue it. I want to see it grow. It's just so much I have in store for you guys. I, I can't wait to get started. I can't wait to get ready. I can't wait to write down my ideas. I can't wait to do the movie reviews. I just can't wait, guys. This is about to be a new year, and I'm really hoping that it's, it's more in store for me this year. Some stuff of which I can't tell you guys about, but you will soon find out. I, I, I'm just hoping that it's a lot in store, and even though there's going to be problems, I hope that God will take me out of the problems and continue to move me forward. I, I, I'm just going to pray about my blessings. I'm going to continue to, uh, I'm going to hope I continue to get 
to be blessed and stay blessed. And I hope that I will remain relevant to the YouTube world. Uh, it's just so much I can talk about and so much I can go over with you guys. Now, let me just talk about the good music this year. Y'all, this has been the year of music. Let me be honest. I'm not talking about the, the shit artists. I'm talking about the people who've made good music this year. I'm talking about from Justin Timberlake. I'm talking about from K. Michelle. I'm talking about Tamar. I'm talking about Beyonce. I'm talking about J. Cole. I'm talking about Kendrick Lamar. I'm talking about all these people who drink. I'm talking about a lot of people. Tech Nine. I'm talking about a lot of people this year. This has been a good year of music. I don't know what 2014 music is going to sound like, but all the music I've heard this year has been good music. It's been a lot of music that's been on repeat nonstop. I mean, y'all, it's just been some good ass music this year. And I personally would like to thank all the people for, for all for the people I listen to. Bringing good music. I don't know about the shit people who bring shit music. But I'm going to tell you one thing. That can flock to the side. Because the people who make good music are going to continue. And this is what I am looking for. Guys, I love real music. As you guys know, most of my videos is about music. So, I mean, it's just been a lot of stuff I've talked about. And it's just been a hell of a lot of fun with you guys. And I want to keep. I want to see it grow more. It's growing now, but I want to see it grow more. So I want them views, guys. I want more likes. I want more subscribes. I just want to succeed in the broadcasting grind. That's what I want. That's all I want. And I just want to give my all. I just want to express my feelings, express my ideas. I just want to continue to see it grow because I feel like I have so much to talk about because I, I, uh, people have claimed me as being a critic and I have a lot of insight about celebrities. I love the celebrity gossip and I just feel like it's a lot of things that I need to do to see myself grow in this industry, in this, I mean, in this world, in the, in the YouTube world. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah. Um, as far as like the TV shows, guys, I haven't really had a chance to give a lot of insight about TV shows, but next year, it is going to be a lot. Single Ladies start next Monday, and I will be giving a review on Single Ladies next Monday, so stay tuned for that. Also, um, I would like to talk about a lot of good YouTubers out there who have been making good videos. The Scorpion Show has never, I have, anytime I'm in a bad mood, The Scorpion Show has always made me feel better. I mean, some of you might think otherwise about The Scorpion Show, but you know what? It's something about The Scorpion Show that I, I feel like I like. Those guys keep me entertained in some type of way. They keep me laughing nonstop. And I just really, really like, I just really, really love Kevin and Mikhail. I hope they, I don't know if they will ever watch my videos, but if they see this video, I have shouted them out. It was a couple of other videos I've shouted them out that I hope they soon see. I want to talk about the K2 spot. The K2 spot is probably one of my other favorite, probably one of the best, uh, the best YouTube shows out there right now thus far because Kenneth Toops. Happens to be one of my best friends. And he has been the main one giving me ideas and tips. And we have talked nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. And I love his show because he's good at giving opinions. He's good at giving, have given us insight. He's good at giving what he thinks about, that, uh, about a specific album, a specific TV show. He has succeeded so much in this he has done a lot for the youtube community and guys me and him we continue to support each other and we continue to support our others as well and guys he has been the main one who has helped me at my youtube show and that's the one i've been always saying he's my best friend so he has been the main one backing me up supporting me helping me 
uh, succeed. He has been helping me get views as well. So, big, big, big ups to K2 Spot. Also, the real roster boy, he has done a lot. He has definitely get on good, get, given good reviews on the uh, TV shows, and which is what I want to focus on more on. Yes, I'm still going to continue to do music, but I want to focus on TV shows and movies. I want to focus on focus on TV shows and movies. And if and if there's any movies that you guys would like me to do, please let me know. We have the new Kevin Hart movie coming. He has two movies coming out. We have the two new Kevin Hart movies coming out. And also, guys, it's this show on AMC that you guys have probably heard about called The Walking Dead. It's about the zombies. I want to give an insight about that show. I haven't had a time to give an insight about my favorite show, Dexter. Guys, that is, just to let you know, that is one of my favorite shows on Showtime, guys. I watch it nine. Stop. Me and my brother love that show to death. I have not had a chance to give reviews about that. And I think if they have come to the end of the season, I think. I have to really check on that. I haven't really checked on that. Guys, I'm going to be giving insight on True Blood next year. Guys, it comes back in June. It is going to be the last season. You know. But guys, I'm a big fan of True Blood because that show is just really, really, really artistic. It's got this art artistry thing about it. It's, it's sexy. It's just got everything on that show. And it, it can be a little over the top sometimes, but guys, you know what? It's weird. And I like weird. I, I've said it just before. In my videos, I like to talk about the most weirdest things. Because I'm the most weirdest person. And I don't give a damn. I don't care what people think about me. So, I'll just come continue to do me and you continue to do me. Okay? Okay. Okay. <sighs> Um, yep, so I'm going to continue to do reviews, guys. I'm just going to continue to give my all. And I'm going to continue to just ring in the new shit. Because, guys, we only got so little left on this earth. And it's more, more stuff that, I, it's, it's, it's a lot more stuff I need to accomplish in due time. But, guys... I'm just letting you guys know it has been a blast doing videos this year. And as you all know, the same time I did J. Cole's video. Hold on right quick. I need to check something. Because I need to know when my anniversary video is going to be. And hopefully by that time, I should be getting hella views on these videos. So, guys, I really, really, really need you guys' help and support. Because I'm trying to make it big and doing this. And this is something I feel like I am good at doing. And let me see when I did the J. Cole video. I'm on YouTube right now. <sighs> Give me one second. The, the J. Cole video was done six months ago. Ju June 18th. Okay, so June 18th is when my anniversary video will, do, will be due next year. And then, oh, sorry about that. And around that <laughs> and around that time, I, I will be, I will have been doing a year doing this. So, guys, I, I'm looking forward to next year. I'm looking forward to June to come up. Uh, I have a lot more in store for you guys. So, I am just looking forward. It's about to be a new year. So fast. I, this year has gone by extremely too fast. And I'm in Chicago, and guys, we haven't had snow for two years. And this weather is bipolar as hell. I mean, we just uh, got some snow. We ain't had no snow for a couple of, uh, for about a week now. Now we got snow again. We getting snow, but you know, guys, to be honest, Chicago, we need the snow because, y'all, we've been on this deep, deep, deep recession. 
and I mean, uh, crops and stuff ain't been growing, so we kind of need it. We kind of need it. I, I ain't gonna just always, but this this weather is bipolar. I mean, we having warm weather, and y'all, Chicago is has the most strangest weather in all, in more than any state. I mean, this is where I'm from, born and raised, and I, you know what? I love my city, but I'm ready to travel, guys, because. It's time for me to start traveling. In the future, I'm looking forward to doing a lot of traveling and doing videos about the states I'm in. Guys, I'm just looking forward to doing a whole lot. A whole lot. I'm just looking forward to doing a whole lot in my future in due time because, guys, I, 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 life is so short and this it, it's a lot of stuff that I need to do because I'm young. I'm 21 years old and I just need to I need to explore, so I, that, that that that's what I'm looking forward to, in, in 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 these next couple of years, traveling. I need to do more traveling. So guys, it's a lot of things. If I had a New Year's resolution, it would be to rem it would be to explore the world. It would be to become become something. I want to be able to be to become a role model. You know, that's what I'm looking forward to in 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 in, 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 in two years time. I'm looking forward to you know getting. I'm I'm looking forward to just being something that 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 hopefully I can um uh, uh help somebody else uh uh follow their dream. You know, that's what I'm looking forward to. That will be my New Year's resolution. I mean, it's just so much I, I want to do, guys. You just do not have no idea. You do not have no idea. But, guys, it has been a lot of good music this year. Um, I just, I don't know. Let me, let me, let me just start by saying this. Let me just start by saying this. I just, I really, really like doing this, guys. This, <laughs> I'm a person who likes to really keep it real. So, you know, I don't care what nobody got to say about it. I just like to keep it real. And that's what it, that's what you guys probably notice on my videos, that I like to keep it real. And I like to explore. So, I'm ready to ring in this new year, baby. I'm ready to ring in this new year. And I, know I don't usually do nothing on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but I'm going to have to do something. So I'm going to turn up with my family. I'm going to have me a good time because it's about to be a new year. I'm going to party like it's Friday, even though it's Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? You feel me? Because thank God I don't have to work on Wednesday. Thank God I don't have to work on Thursday. And thank God I don't have to work on Friday. So I got all these days to turn up and do what the hell I want before I have to go back to that in, in, into that job they call McDonald's. But anyway, 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 um, um, did y'all get that? Okay. <laughs> um, I'm crazy, y'all. I'm, 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 I'm just telling y'all right now. I, I, I have a, a, a crazy sense of humor, and y'all, I, I, I know all the people. I, I, I hope I'm being very. It's inspiring for some people, and I hope I'm being a great entertainer for some people because, guys, it is in my dream to be an entertainer. It's in my dream. I, 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 I'm looking to, to be a singer, guys, and a dancer, and that, those, those are my main two dreams in life right now. Always, ever since I was a little boy. So, guys, I'm looking forward to doing a lot of things, and only God knows what's in store for him. Only God knows what's in store for him, but he is going to keep continuing doing him because it's what I'm best at. I'm not good at being nobody but who he is being. So, guys, I just want you guys to be blessed. And I just want you guys to uh, continue to follow your dreams. I want you guys to look, search for aspiration, search for liberation, search for 
your your fights, your wants, and your needs, guys. I want you guys to be happy. Be happy. I want you guys to continue to do yourselves and be yourselves and continue to go to school. Continue to keep working. Continue to make money. Continue to want to be a singer. Continue to want to be an actor. Continue, continue. That is the main word that I'm looking forward to. Continuance. That word means so much to me. You have to continue. You cannot give up. You cannot Guys, you cannot slack. You guys got to eat. Life is too short. So just continue to be who the hell you are. Because once you look back and you back that on an opportunity, you might not get that opportunity again. So guys, continue to do you. Please continue to, 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 to continue to get good grades. Be yourselves, guys. Be yourselves. And this is me. Signing off. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year's. 2014. Here we go.